Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting, and if you're in the Northeast today, it's what, 25 degrees? Here in Deland, Florida, where I'm at the Deland Sport Aviation Showcase, it's a balmy, cloudy, 75 degrees. I'll try to make do. As you know, the Sport Showcase is kind of a small show, but it's always interesting stuff to look at. A few new things and some market re-entry, so let's get started. If you've been to Europe, you know that gyroplanes, auto gyros, are a big thing there, but in the U.S., Eh, not so much. That's beginning to change. We're seeing more product introductions and there are a couple new ones here at the Deland Showcase. So let's take a look. This is a new uh, AG 915. It's brand new to the US this year. Uh, it comes with the uh, Rotax 915IS. Uh, it's a kit that we put together. It's still, not, it's still experimental. I, we hoped in it a few years will become an LSA. One of the things that you find about this aircraft is that it's very stable. It takes knowledge and training to be able to fly like anything, any aircraft that we have, but it is a very reliable as well as a very nice uh, aircraft uh, to fly. We have uh, three models. We have the base, which is $107,000, the base kit. Then we we'll have the next one and uh, the next model is 115 and the full uh, complete model like this one that we see here with the leather seat with everything uh, variable propeller and everything is 135 140. Uh, we hope that when they become a LSA we're going to try to keep it close to those prices uh, but we'll see what happens and, and but for now right now that it will be more or less the price 140 150 for the high end. Total this year in the US nine kits and uh, probably will be in between 150 or maybe a little bit more when it becomes an LSA in a few years. We, we don't know yet. If you follow the light sport market or the auto gyro market, you know that you can't fly an auto gyro under the light sport rule. For some reason, it was left out of the rulemaking process. If you look on avweb.com, you'll find a podcast with Dan Johnson explaining the particulars. But one airplane you can fly under the light sport rule is this one. This is a light sport motor glider. Not exactly a new product, but it's being reintroduced to the U.S. market. This design first appeared in the United States as the Urban Air manufactured Lombada. Um, that company uh, struggled with manufacturing and some incidents that happened with the airplanes. And because of that, uh, the bankruptcy ensued. Distar came along, took the company over, did a complete inspection and then redesign of the aircraft. And the new Sundancer is the result of 18 months of, of research, study and wind tunnel testing. And so what you find here is you have a new tail section. All the tail feathers are new and improved. Uh, the layup is um, under different guidance. And there's a few aerodynamic changes to the fuselage that are really very subtle and you wouldn't know where to look to tell the difference. But this airplane, um, uh, this motor glider is uh, far improved. It also has a polyurethane finish. They no longer use uh, the gel coat. And um, we import them and sell them uh, fully equipped. That's the only way I sell them. Uh, they're $138,000, includes your flat panel, your ballistic parachute, radio stack, heat, tinted canopy, three sets of wingtips. Uh, you can change out the wingtips from a 13 and a half meter configuration all the way out to a 15 meter configuration. And uh, it takes about uh, 60 seconds to change a wingtip. In the 13 meter, meter configuration, you have a 26 to one glide ratio. And when you add the eight feet, you get a 30 to one real honest glide ratio. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, gives you the best of both worlds. It holds two passengers, 100 pounds of baggage. Um, and you can go anywhere from sea level up to 30,000 feet. A uh, lot of fun. You know, at all these shows, we're seeing new avionics products. And this one is a new one from a company called MAV, and it's an Italian company. Uh, now, they have show before at Oshkosh, but this version is a new moving map. Take a look at the details. Well, uh, this product is uh, is an improvement about this uh, this one, and uh, the improvement uh, feature are uh, the screens bigger, bigger screens because it's uh, the same 80 millimeter standard shape, but without border, uh, more high resolution, more high speed of CPU, more memory, memory inside, and uh, um, more brightness, new new uh, screen new. Um, New screens, yeah. 
Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, less consumption. Uh, this is an indicator uh, that indicates the airport is, is a, not just a gyro. The airport uh, you can choose, uh, you can select from a database. For example, if I hold the button, I enter in a point of interest that is the airport. For example, I select an airport. In this case, I, I select a random airport. I can choose here the airport and go to. If I do go to, the arrow indicate the airport, uh, the, the direction of the airport. Indeed, this is a, a direction. And also in the map, I see the red line. I can see the red line that uh, drive you to the airport. That's it. That's, uh, because inside there is a database that we provide. We provide upgrades database for a life. The price, uh, there is a three, uh, three, uh, three product. Uh, the, basic, uh, the basic one is uh, uh, um, 819, but with the 819 you can have only the attitude. The attitude have uh, anyway turn coordinator, uh, altimeter, uh, airspeed, uh, G-meter, there is a lot of information, compass, uh, there is many information already in the, in the lowest price product. Then there is another product that is uh, a thousand uh, hand, uh, a thousand hundred ninety that have th three screens like this. This is uh, three screens, and uh, there is another product that is a thousand two hundred ninety with uh, six screens, uh, six view, six view that uh, where you can you can select these uh, six view among twelve feature or more. Uh, now we haven't here this uh, the best product the best product we haven't here uh, but uh, uh, we have in stock not not in this air show if you surf around the ab web channel you'll find a video flight review on this airplane it's the merlin psa for personal sport airplane at the moment it's a kit powered by a two-cylinder hks engine horizontally opposed it's about to get a new engine and an electric hybrid option Here's Chip Irwin to give us the details. We have the Merlin Personal Sport Aircraft single seat airplane that requires 60 to 65 horsepower. We have firewall forward packages for the Rotax 582 and the HKS. But the HKS is four stroke, and now that they've uh, stopped produ production, we're switching to a new V twin single overhead cam 60 horsepower four stroke that we're uh, bringing in with a reduction drive specifically for this aircraft and it looks to be uh, very light and smooth and and very inexpensive so the entire firewall forward package propeller engine everything will be less than half the price so the very affordable Merlin will become even more attractive in price we've already got the engines in hand and we're making the installations on the first Merlins and we'll complete our test flights in December finish the firewall forward packages in January and should be delivering shortly after that. Soon after we are flying the gas version of the V-Twin, we'll be incorporating an electric version into the reduction drive. That way we'll have a true hybrid that can run on the gas, electric, or both. And the electric will then be used as a generator when it's flying on the gas engine to recharge the batteries in flight. Having a hybrid with electric motor gives us uh, the option of uh, taking off quietly, flying on electric, and then changing to gas to recharge the batteries. It gives us a range extension for one, which means we can fly for several hours instead of a very short time on electric. And it also gives the redundancy of a twin engine because we can fly on gas or electric. You know, sport aircraft and seaplane go together like peanut butter and jelly. And the market is really quite competitive in the amphibian segment. There are four or five of them to pick from. And if you've been to any of the major shows and even the minor ones, you will have seen this one. It's the C-Max. It's a Brazilian import. And they've been around for really 20 years, but now they're getting serious about marketing in the U.S. They've got a couple of them here at the land. And here's a little detail on the airplane and how they plan to sell it. The C-Max is an amphibious light sport aircraft had been built in Brazil since the year of 1998. Um, we have delivered 160 units so far in 20 different countries. This plane is uh, built basically in carbon fiber uh, and Kevlar. The wings are made of fabric. Uh, it, it has a Rotax 912 ULS and now we are 
featuring also the Rotex 912 IS, both of them 100 horsepower engine. Well, this plane we now are featuring it in uh, all analog version, or you can choose with the Garmin uh, G3X touchscreen to dual devices. So we're and also there are some room to play in between. Uh, the customer can uh, can add you know half uh, digital dashboard and half analog. So there's some room for that. We also offer a lot of optionals that can be included, such as uh, ballistic parachute. We have uh, safety features like wire, wired camera on the tail, taping uh, the, the engine from behind so you can know, see if there's any smoke there or if it's clear prop. So all of that are some features that have been added to our plane. As you know, the US is the greatest market in the world for that. We just established uh, three years ago a, a permanent office as manufacturers in the US. We are based in Daytona Beach now. We have some operations in Deland uh, Municipal Airport. So soon we will have, we already have a maintenance center here, but we will start doing final assembly in the US starting in March next year. Our plane ranges from $148,000, the basic version, to $200,000. That's the difference just the, the different of the engine and the avionics that you play with it. Mm -hmm.